Okay, Salaam Alaikum. Uh, today we shall move to the next chapter. I mean next chapter in your syllabus, not next chapter in the book. It is first language acquisition. And I, as you know, with first language, we use the verb acquire and the noun is acquisition. This is with first language because with second language, uh, this topic is going to be dealt with next time. I mean, next chapter, we use the verb learn and the noun is learning. Okay, just to make things clear. So, today, as I said, we shall talk about first language acquisition. And by first language acquisition, we simply mean how children acquire their first language. How children acquire their first language. That's why sometimes we call it, we call this topic child language. That's to say we are going to talk about child language, the properties of child, child language and how children acquire their language and what are the stages children follow in processing their language and in acquiring their language. Uh, actually, this is one of the topics that occupied the linguist thinking. Not recently, but long ago. Long ago, linguist philosophers used to think about this topic. How do children acquire their first language? Actually, they raised this question. They have been raising this question ever since eternity how do children acquire their first language as I said linguists occupied themselves concerning this topic until until the 50s of the last century the 20th century until the 50s of the 20th century, linguists used to think that first language acquisition actually is a matter of imitation. That is to say, children listen and repeat. Listen and repeat they listen to language sentences words and they repeat what they have listened to and as i said this is until the 50s of the last century until the 50s of the last century But later on, later on, linguists discovered that this is actually not the case. This is not the case because most of the time, most of the time, children are able to produce novel sentences. Children are able to produce novel sentences and by novel we mean sentences that are new we mean sentences that are new it means sentences that they have not heard before by new we mean they have not heard before. I mean, children have not heard 
these sentences before. Then, if it is a matter of repetition, if it is a matter of repetition, so how come how come children are able to produce novel sentences? How could they produce sentences that they have not heard before? After the 50s of the last century, linguists came to a conclusion that actually, that, that was the idea of Chomsky, or, or that is the idea of Chomsky. You know Chomsky, right? You know, I'm sure you know him. Linguists began to think of child language in a different way. It is not a matter of repetition. Or it is not a matter of the concept of behaviorism. هذا المبدأ اللي هو repetition. يعني behaviorism هي المدرسة السلوكية. It says that we listen and repeat concerning language acquisition. في ما يخص language acquisition. Children listen and repeat. But later on, I said after the 50s, Chomsky introduced another idea. Now we begin to think of not of, of, of behaviorism, but we began to talk about mentalism mentalism what is meant by this concerning language acquisition the idea is that if it is a matter of repetition uh, sorry yes if it is a matter of repetition يعني children listen and repeat listen and repeat how many sentences are there in language how many sentences are there in any language? Actually, the number of sentences is infinite. The number of sentences is infinite. Unlimited. ما محدود. So how could children produce an infinite number of sentences? How could children produce an infinite number of sentences so actually it is not a matter of infinite. this is difficult not difficult but this is impossible this is impossible children cannot produce this number of sentences and an, 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 an infinite number of sentences actually what Chomsky says what his follower says is that the following children do not acquire sentences but they acquire rules of sentences they acquire rules by which they generate sentences they acquire rules and the number of of these rules is finite محدود. While the number of sentences is infinite, it is impossible to produce an infinite number of sentences. But, but it is very easy to acquire a finite number of sentences. لأن العدد محدود. From these sentences, from these rules, sorry. From this, inf uh, from, from this finite number of sentences, children are able to generate. They generate words and they generate sentences. Okay. So they have one rule, for example, from this rule, they generate. Okay. 
Okay, let me give you an example to show this idea or to clarify this idea. We know that the plural of tooth is teeth, right? In English, the, pro, uh, the plural of tooth is teeth. But for some children, for some children, if, you, if, if they talk about more than one tooth, they would say tooths. They would say tooth. Why do you think they add this letter S, plural S, S in German? Because actually, children have not heard the word teeth before. They have not heard the word teeth before. And they have a rule. They have discovered a rule. They have discovered a rule. What type of rule? The rule says the following. We add S to the word to make it plural. We add S to make it plural. So they begin to generate. Hatta adna in Arabic, in Iraqi Arabic. You hear, I am sure, you have come across children who use the word Kalamat, right? Who use the word Kalamat for the word Kalam. Where have they got this word from? Actually, they apply a rule. They apply a rule. Marbihum Mu'alma Mu'almat. So they begin to generate a rule. They have the rule, they begin to generate plural uh, words out of this rule. So, this is how language acquisition works. According to this idea, it is not a matter of repeating things or imitating. It is not a matter of repetition. Rather, it is a matter of creativity children are able to produce their brains to discover the rules of language and apply these rules so we are talking about creative creatures not imitators not repeaters we are talking about intelligent creatures we are talking about smart, you know smart, smart creatures, Ilhuma children. Actually, they are they are not repeating things. They are discovering rules, they discover rules. And they generate sentences out of these rules. Hopefully, this introduction is clear. Now, we need to know that language acquisition, language acquisition, is not genetic. Language acquisition is not genetic. What is meant by, by this when we say language acquisition is not related to genetics? It is not genetic. What is meant by this? Now, when, when we are born here in Iraq, which language we are going to acquire? We are going to acquire Iraqi Arabic as our native language, right? Okay. And the French people acquire French language. English people acquire English language. 
American people acquire American English. American English, right? So, when we say it is not genetic, what is meant by this? Neftarov, some child who is born in Iraq. He is born or she is born in Iraq. Tafil Tawamolud, newly born in Iraq. Iraq. We take him from his parents. After all, he is one day old. One day old. We take him from his parents and we move him to Paris. Okay. Newly born Iraqi child. We took him from his parents. He is one day old. And we move him to Paris. You know Paris. Okay. طبعاً هذا مثال افتراضي مو صحيح حتى واحد يقول لي إيش خطية وبعد صغيرون هذا. This is just an example. Which language he is going to acquire in France? Paris, you know, in in France, right? Capital city of France. Which language? هو عراقي. The child is Iraqi. Now, which language he is going to acquire in Paris, in France? Iraqi or French of course he is going to acquire French because he lives he is going to live in a French environment not Iraqi environment so Language acquisition is not related to genetics. ما له علاقة بالوراثة. I am Iraqi. They take me to London. I am going to acquire English language. I mean, as a child, we bring an English child to Iraq. He is going to acquire Iraqi language. So this is the main idea of. Uh, language acquisition has nothing to do with genetics and in language acquisition we have what is called critical period critical period okay So we have what is called language uh, or critical period. This critical period determines the time we acquire language. Let me see it. Uh, let me say it in a different way. It is believed that. It is believed that each one of us, each one of us, is born with what is called language acquisition device. Each one of us is born, you know, born, B O R N, with what is called language acquisition device يختصروها لات language acquisition device this device this device declines تضمحل يعني after the age of 12 تقريبا 
it declines after the age of 12. ولذلك the age of 12 is called the critical period. The age of 12, 12, يعني 12, 13, is called the critical period. After this time, it is difficult to acquire language. It is difficult to acquire language. But before that, it is easy. I'm going to talk about this period, which is the age of 12. Actually, there were experiments. There were experiments. وحتى خارج الاكسبرينس شوفون انتم الشخص الصغير اللي يطلع للخارج ويا اهله هي اور شي از ايبل تو اكوير لانجويج اور ليرن لانجويج سوري ليرن لانجويج بسهوله يتعلمون اللغه الاجنبيه بوت ذير بيرنتس فايند ات ديفيكلت تو ليرن ذا فورين لانجويج شوف يطلع هو يعني وزوجته واطفاله الاطفال يتعلمون اللغه الاجنبيه الكبار ما يتعلمون ف ذس جيفز ايفيدنس ذات يس ذير از كريتيكال بيريد وقلنا منين جابوا هذا الكلام انه there is a critical period actually actually there are experiments there are experiment and there is a famous case famous case about a girl who is called Jenny a girl who is called Jenny هاي حالتها is very famous ومشهورة وتدرس في كتب اللغة يعني as an example not example actually as uh, as evidence about the critical period as evidence about the critical period يعني the period at the age of 12 we are not able to acquire language هي الحالة يسموها uh, حالة جني مذكورة عندكم في chapter 13 لكن أنا أشرح لكم إياها باختصار what is what is this جني جني was living with her parents father and mother the father actually was very cruel قاسي he could, not, he could not he cannot tolerate the noise raised by Jenny he doesn't tolerate ما يتحمل يعني مزاجة شوية tolerate Jenny's noise so he kept her separated from the world she was locked down actually يعني احنا نقول سجنها she was locked down when she was very very uh, young when she was child actually she was child she was kept in isolation she was kept in isolation في عزلة تامة in a room in a room alone the only contact was with her mother just to give her food from time to time the only contact was, was, was with the mother to give her food from time to time when this case was discovered Jenny's age Jenny's age was 13 she was 13 when his case was discovered by people of course she was taken for medical care she was taken for medical care and her case was studied at that time the case was studied by linguist 
doctors psychologist الى اخره اوكي هير كيس واز ستاديد باي ذوز بيبل ميديكال كير يعني دكتورز نيرسز سايكولوجيست ومن ضمنهم لينجوست when she was found she was not able to speak when, when she was found she was unable to speak just few words she was able to produce very few words why do you think she was not able to speak why do you think she was unable to speak because she has no contact with other people إذن إحنا حتى نتعلم نحكي we need to have what we need to have contact with other people we need to have contact with other people so Jenny unfortunately was not able to speak because she was deprived from this contact Jenny was suffering from deprivation not only linguistic but emotional emotional deprivation that's why she was not able to speak remember how old was she how old was she she was 13 when she was discovered that's why that's why linguist psychologist doctor came with this conclusion they say after the age of 12 13 our lad declines and we cannot acquire language our lad you remember lad declines and we cannot acquire language so they take the case of jenny as solid evidence dalil damag as solid evidence now even when linguists and teachers try to teach jenny language actually she behaves as very young child although she was 13 she behaves as a very young child she was unable to acquire language but she could speak few words at that time okay so in order to acquire language in order to acquire language there are requirements there are requirements you know requirements need to be present in order to acquire language متطلبات يعني one of these requirements is language contact language contact if there is no language contact معناها we cannot acquire language we need to listen to language we need to listen to people use the language that's why this is the first requirement اللي هو language contact and of course children need to be physically able physically يعني صحيا جسديا تمام physically able in order to acquire language because you know there are people who are totally mute they are deaf can deaf people acquire language no why cannot they acquire language because 
of this deficiency, they lose one major property of language acquisition in the language contact. They cannot listen to you, so they cannot acquire the language, the language that you speak. So one of the require the basic requirement is language contact. And secondly is that they have children have to be physically able in order to acquire language. I think uh, this is all for the moment. As I said last time, I don't want my lectures to be very long because, you know, the video is going to be uh, difficult to be uploaded. Uh, this is all for the present time. Uh, we shall meet next time to talk about the rest of the chapter. Hopefully things are clear. Thank you.